Hello everyone, welcome to the last and final part of the limited palette series. My name is Shuchi Mule and I'm an artist that specializes in painting and drawing still life and portraits using oil paints and charcoal. In this video, we are going to paint a copy of the Anders Zone painting. I provided a link to the image that I'm going to use to create this painting in the description box below. So if you want to follow along, please go ahead. I constantly refer to the color charts that we created in part 1 and part 2 of this video. So in case you haven't watched them, I have provided a link in the description box below. So now without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with the shadow area first and then move towards the light area and then finally into the mid-tone. So I'm going to mix this color which is cadmium red plus black with a trace of yellow because this is what I'm seeing in the image that I have. So let's see. Yeah, that's the color. And I'm taking an approximation at this stage. It might be more darker see in some areas it is definitely darker. But let's just start firstly with the overall value, okay? So let's look at the shadow and I'm taking account of just the overall value. So I see that it's yellowish, reddish, brown. And in this area, I'm going to squint at my work. So although I see some minute details here, that's not one I'm going to start with. If you're painting along with me, um, just start adding the shadow shapes. Just keep focusing on the shadow shapes for, for a while before we fill all that in and then we will go towards the lightest area first, okay? The shadow color at this point is not the darkest dark. My darkest dark is somewhere this. Like I feel this is dark as dark. Somewhere in the background is dark as dark. And then somewhere in here, like I feel this is more darker than in my shadow. So you have to keep that in mind when you mix colors. I added that in. Um, I feel like if there's, this is a bit lighter than this one. And it's still warm. So I'm gonna still keep in the same color range. So I have my browns. Alrighty, and then here it looks more like greenish rather than the blue, uh, the reddish and black. So now let's start with the next shadow shape. I feel like this is also, this is more like a local color and her, her hair is darker here in some areas too, but it's not reddish. It's more like a greenish tint. So let's, let's see what creates a greenish yellow tint. So I see that when I mix black with yellow ochre, that's when I'm getting this color, right? And do you see a tint of red in it? If I see a tint of red in it in some areas, I'm going to add that tint of red. Okay, so let's start with black and yellow for this head area. So I'm going to take tint of black and a little bit yellow in it. And that's my color right now. So I have to mix white to bring down its value first. So let's work on the value. And now when I mix black and yellow ochre, I get this greenish color. But what I see in my image, it's more like reddish green. So I'm going to add a tint of uh, cadmium red. Okay, yeah, so it's more green. So I might need a little bit of more red. Let's see. Yeah, this looks much better to me. And in some areas, the value is lighter. So I'm going to accordingly change my value with the same color combinations that I created. In some areas, I also see that it's a bit more greenish as compared to this. So I am mixing less cadmium red and keeping it only to black and yellow ochre. I see that this area is also like there is an undercolor which is like a greenish color. So same which is our 
ivory black and yellow ochre and I'm gonna see if that's the value yes it might have a tint of red in it okay there are also some color transitions here which I'm not gonna add right now until I have the colors that are next to it I'm gonna see if I have this color somewhere else and I I do have some transitions here you can either add the transitions at this stage or like just wait till we add the other transitions And we'll come back to this area with a bigger brush so I'm not really at this point like I'm not concentrating on this I'm gonna do it with the same with this area so I have this red that I created using this is again the mix of all the three colors and white Coming back to the shadow and the darkest dark, there is also areas where they are more like black and yellow ochre mixed together, not just black, okay? Um, and I'm gonna put those areas now. I'm squinting and making sure I got the shape right. We are also going to work on the lip area, okay, and then connect this shape with this shape. I think more like here. So it's yellow ochre, cadmium red, and a tint of black. We also want to work on the teeth area. So don't look at them as teeth. Like if I squint, they are still the lightest, okay? But I'm gonna start with a bit of darker color because they're never that light. I'm gonna put a bun. Yes, that looks the right color for this area. Goes a bit reddish on this side. So I'm gonna add a slight bit of cadmium red as we're moving on this side so I'm gonna add tiny teeny tiny bit like this. yes so it just shows through so eyelids are warm slightly bit more warm Before I go about drawing the other things that are here, I want to quickly put my lightest light shapes.
my cadmium red mixed with black and a tint of yellow. Then we have this color added. I'm like slowly moving towards the other areas as well. And you can go towards the chin. This is light lighter than this like the darkest dark see a bit of cadmium red and yellow ochre quickly wanted to show you my progress so far and here's the painting and I added some backgrounds there's, there's an image on my laptop in the background and here is our color chart that we worked on so just wanted to show you up close how it looks and I now I just have to work on the dress and then I'm gonna look for any areas which need some editing And now I'm going to use this brush and that is a 279 a long flat um, and I'm going to make a color for this for her dress area and it looks like it's mostly like yellow ochre mixed with some black or red in a tiny in a tiny amount let's take some yellow ochre with some white and tiny bit of black I'm first gonna get to that value and then I feel there's some red in it so I'm mixing a slight bit of red I'm going to mix a bit of oil in this because my white is a bit dry and if that's something that happens to you as well you can mix in a bit of medium the 
it's still gonna be dark as compared to this side. And with that, we conclude the three-part limited palette series. Thank you so much for your time. And in case you have any questions, please feel free to add it to the comment section below. And with that, happy painting and let's keep inspiring each other.